The Committee for Defense of Human Rights, Lagos Branch, in collaboration with Movement for Justice, have held the World Press Conference at White House in Ikeja, Lagos State. While addressing some vital human rights issues at the conference, which includes the hashtag NSAS three years memorial anniversary, hashtag justice for Bamiche 600 days after Bamiche's death, and hashtag justice for Mubad, amongst others, stated their next step of action. The report. The Committee for Defense of Human Rights, Lakers Branch, in collaboration with Movement for Justice, held the World Press Conference at White House in Ikaja, Lagos State, yesterday, 19th of October 2023, to address recent vital human rights issues, including the EDSA's three year memorial anniversary, justice for Bamishaye 600 days after Bamishaye's death, and justice for Mobad and the next step of action. Barista Ayo Ademuli of the Justice Movement spoke on the EDSA's massacre memorial, which will mark the third anniversary today. He stated that an investigation panel brought their findings to the government of the Lagos state, but it was being rejected. That panel arrived at our own uh, conclusion that what happened on the night of uh, 20th of October 2020 was a massacre. Despite the finding of that panel in its report, Lagos State Government, the Babaji De Sonwolu led Lagos State Government, and back, which even constituted the panel in the first instance, rejected the report of its own panel, and then got on a whitewashing uh, project through the white paper. In their purported white paper, they gave themselves a clean sheet in which they said that nobody died at Lake Itogate. What we are demanding three years after uh, this massacre now is that number one, the immediate arrest of the officers that were indicted by the report of that panel, including were not limited to General Buratai, who is now serving ambassadorial position in neighboring West African countries, He's working the street free. There's also at least the other top senior military commanders who are still working the streets free should be immediately arrested. Then number two is that the, the dead bodies that are still in the morgue, more than 200 dead bodies, should be brought out for uh, identification by qualified medical consultants. He further stated that in the Mobad case, the Movement for Justice and Committee for the Defense of Human Rights demanded the immediate arrest of Nairomali and Samlari with immediate prosecution as soon as possible, which has been partially carried out and further mentioned that the police cannot be trusted to investigate the death of the singer alone, hereby seeking transparency. We welcome that arrest and the arraignment of uh, both Samlari and uh, Nairomali at uh, the Lagos State uh, the Yaba Magistrate Court. But we think that they should face as promptly as possible immediate prosecution. Comrade Kende Adeoye, the state chairman committee for the defense of human rights, gave an update concerning the case of justice for Bamishaye and that of Ms. Uluwa Bamishaye Abigail Ayon Lua, a 22-year-old lady who was a fashion designer, brutally raped and murdered on February 26, 2020 in a BLT bus operated by Lagos Bus Service. The case has been in court since March 2022. CDHR has been monitoring the case and have on many occasions been present in court. But it is so sad that the case has suffered a series of unnecessary adjournments. We still look forward to the invitation of the House for us to deliberate on the matter. The House of Assembly has tagged it a matter of urgent importance. In, addi in addition to the fact that justice should be seen to be done. We are also demanding these two major points from the upon four point demand that was written to the House of Assembly. One, that the four other persons, as it was mentioned by my barrister here, that others are like, you are those. Bamiche, in the footnote she sent to her friend just before she was murdered, indicated that four other people were inside that BRT bus, three men and one woman. And up to now, we are saying that it's only the BLT driver. Let him be made to name who those three people are. It's the state chairman further went on to state that the delayed Miss Oluwa Bamishaye has been given a post Amos Award of Human of Courage by CDHR Lagos Branch, explaining her courageous act to be able to expose the nefarious act of the evil-minded people through her phone by sending messages to her friend.
it concluded by mentioning some demands that the CDHR needs the Lagos state government to provide for. Up to today, uh, coming to Lagos Island, and up to today, yet justice is yet to be served. When it was 500 days, 11th of July 2023, members of Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, we stormed the Lagos State House of Assembly. The police were trying to stop us. We said no. The immediate past state chairman, Comrade Alex Omotenshe, is here. He will soon be here. We said we wanted to see the speaker. They said no. The, we said we will remain here till tomorrow. We were singing our alarm until the majority leader of the House came out to address us. And we told them, 500 days, no justice. Justice delayed is justice denied. So he promised that he will look into it and then he will report to the leadership of the House. Within a week, we sent another letter to the House, copies of the acknowledgement, we have them here, and nothing was done. So when the issue of Mubad came, that's where the link is now. And they were trying to do a kind of a hypocrisy, saying they want to know the cause. Why did they, who killed them, Mubad? We now wrote to the Assembly, we took them uh, to task. Ah, okay, you want to know about my fine? What about that type of damage that happened 500 days ago? It was then they now showed the interest that you are seeing that they now say they're going to invite CDHR, invite the family and so on. So we are still waiting.